over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Boss mode. <laughs> yes, yes, be, that's be a perfect segue. Yes, you know, and you know the main event obviously was Terrence Crawford defending his WBO welterweight title against Mean Machine. Um, I'll just say his initials EK. <laughs> you know, because I like I said I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce that name again. Um, not even worth yeah. saying. Not even not even worth saying dude's name. Mm. Now, that, he, he earned that respect with all them damn right hands he landed on Crawford. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The Mean Machine did his thing. Like, I mean, yeah, like, it was, it was, I'm gonna try to get his name right sometime tonight. Yeah, like he like he did his thing against Crawford, and of course the big controversy, of course, was in the third round where it seemingly and it definitely seemed like to me, I'm pretty sure for P and LB that Crawford went down legitimately. He did, yeah, he did, round. he did. He was hurt, he tried to hold, fell, the shot yeah, yeah. buzzed him definitely, he was hurt. He got you know, you know, You know what was fucking weird? LB, you had texted me at the, at the time, and I you texted me, career mode glitch. I'm sure you were referring, <laughs> I'm sure you were referring to the knockdown. <laughs> um, but you know what the, no, but here's the weird part. Yeah, I just want to say, this is like really fucking weird. I got that text before the knockdown actually happened. Like, <laughs> but I sent it before the knockdown happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say. I was. I was. <laughs> okay. I, I knew I, it was coming, but I sent it because he landed like he was landing big shots on uh, Crawford, and Crawford yeah. was just walking to him. Like honestly, he looked how Spence would have looked if he would have came at Mikey Garcia without back foot boxing. Right. Straight cell phone, no moving his head. Eating yeah, one, two. And that's what they, I was telling the guys in the media section too, because I was like, you know, it was like, I mean, the the worst thing, the worst thing you can do, uh, the worst thing you can do against a southpaw is to throw a right hand straight down the pike, especially if it they're not moving their head. Shouldn't and, have been a southpaw anyway. Like, well, he's no, he's he could terrible. be a southpaw to move his fucking head. He doesn't yeah. move his head. In, or, or, or circle away from the right hand. Both of the things that he, he the Crawford did not do. But at least not, always, not immediately. <laughs> he's always he's always does this. Whenever he's in southpaw stance, he gets hit way more. He his lead left he he throws a lead left hook that's wide and leaves him open, leaves his head open for shots. Like all the time, every time his punches are wider, everything is wider. Like, he leaves himself more open as a lefty. Because he he fight with the front foot. Yeah, and then and yeah, Mimi Machine, and Mimi Machine was just tagging him up. It was like, you know, I was just like, I was like, this is, I mean, I mean, Crawford, or, I mean, has has a decent chin, has a good chin. He hasn't yeah. been down yet. I mean, at least until this fight, I've actually been down. But, but he was, he was hurt. Yeah, he was hurt. He was very hurt. Everybody's like, well, it's a fight. People get hurt. Look, when we say that, it's all about levels of competition. Right. Nobody has perfect great nights every night. The best yeah. boxers alive in the world that don't have some hor- horrible nights and they still pull it out. Yeah, I mean, even, you know, even, even like Floyd Mayweather, who everyone counts as, you know, master boxers, master boxers. I mean, he's had several hard nights, you know, and they're not held against them either. Nope. Not even, not even one of them. Not even the, the one where he really struggled, but, you know, so yes, I mean, Crawford, yes, you, you can not have even the one where he lost. Yeah, facts. <laughs> you know, but um, but either way, because I mean, after Crawford was doing, I mean, Crawford did, was able to did make an adjustment mid, you know, by like round five or whatever, which is typically the rounds he usually does if he's down. I mean, if he has to, if he's has nah, to not that late. Crawford a slow starter. Let's we know that, but we're yeah. talking about two or three rounds, not no fucking five rounds, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> I mean, it, it, he, no round round. he was in a legit fucking fight. <laughs> yeah, he was. And, uh, and then pretty the much. Slow start he, is the first first round of the Lundy fight, where Lundy caught him a couple good times. Yeah, and then by round five, he completely wiped Lundy out. <laughs> yeah. But but it's like, think about it. <clears throat> when you look at, like, Floyd Mayweather, his off nights, let's go, hmm, da 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 da, Sosa fight. Victoriano Sosa off night for Floyd Floyd got caught with some good shots but he didn't get dropped 
and he he didn't look hurt, <laughs> buzzed <laughs> like like oh, damn. And another thing is like it's the quality of shots you're getting caught with. Mm-hmm. Like I thought like, like Bud would have got caught after after like one or two or that one big one. I thought that would have been like okay, he woke up. He I I folks, you know we are gonna have a Toro Crawford. I mean um Terrence uh, <laughs> Terrence Crawford is back now. But it didn't happen until a little later. You know, he right. kept getting hit, hit. I'm talking about head snapping back, hard shots. Yeah. Even in the conference, True. dude said he got some pop. Yeah. Definitely damn right he did. <laughs> yeah, like, you look, you box long enough, you watch enough boxing, you know when certain punches have a certain effect. Even if a guy takes them, you know, like, yeah, that nigga got hit with a clean one. Mm-hmm. Like, like, shit, fucking, um... Corabo and Charlo's another one. Cor- like, Charlo was taking them fucking punches. But they were some hard fucking shots. Like, they were like snapping, neck, head snapping fucking type of shots. Facts. So, when, whenever I see that, I'm like, okay, that nigga got hit with a solid shot. Yeah. Sometimes your head don't even have to move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, damn, that, that nigga got a chin. He took that shit. So. That's all I'm saying. Like, let's not make no fucking excuses, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. Crawford struggled. Yeah, he definitely did. And, you know, but like I said, he made an adjustment. And then by the seventh round, like, pretty much he started battering dude at well. And he dropped him. I think it was in that round he dropped him. Um, had to hold yeah. his head and hit him with the other hand. He had to get a little dirty with it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Crawford yeah. was so frustrated. <laughs> it was more like a street fight. Like, he... He bent the rules a little, took advantage, and then he kind of had his way with dude. Yeah, because uh, yeah, the, that that knocked out. Even though he mentioned that you know he, you know he wasn't hurt or anything like that, he knew what happened to that knockdown. Like he got you know he he, he got his bell rung, and I think he got mad personally. He got mad about it. Yeah, so he, he, was, like, he was embarrassed. Yeah, because it's like you talking all this shit about BBC ducking you this that that, and then you getting dropped by a fucking guy that damn. Ray Robinson was damn putting hands on. Exactly. So it's like, come on, dude. So now when people say, you know what, Jesse Vargas wouldn't might not might not be a bad fight with, for Terrence Crawford. Now people can shut the fuck up when that's mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> now we can say, you know what? He's right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll, I'll eat my crow there. Jesse Vargas at least put him. Jesse Vargas lands right hands on everybody. Mm-hmm. If there's one thing he do right, facts. So I mean, uh, Crawford, when you at this world class level, man, you trying to get big fights, you can't be slipping up like this, man. This was like the this was like the Billy Joe Saunders performance, right? Like literally, and 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 honestly, like Crawford, <laughs> I thought Crawford got hit with bigger punches. <laughs> Yeah, Crawford, yeah. And one thing that I, I want to say about that one is I'm starting to think now that, you know, uh, that Crawford is trying to spoil on the vine a little bit. It's basically, Yo, my nigga. I was seeing the same shit in my head. God damn, you on point. Yeah, because it's like, cause it's like cause, and you heard me complain about this with, with LSC before. Like, it's only, it's like, it's like a, a, a fighter that's in the prime or approaching the front, in, approaching the prime, they have to... You know they have to be more, they have to be put in competitive fights because else bad habits could either don't get corrected or they start popping up, which what they did in this fight, and they start get they start having this feeling they can do anything, or they or can or take anything. superiority complex where exactly. yeah, yeah like they could do any like 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 nothing could happen to them exactly and then and then you know and it can catch up to them like LC caught up to him in the Carl Frampton fight. You know, finally, you know where he f- took his first L, and Crawford was lucky enough that Mach- Me Machine did not ring his bell a couple more times. Yeah, you know, so he, he, more- lucky he wasn't in there with a guy on Frampton's level to take advantage to really take advantage. Right, dude was just being patient and timing him, mm-hmm. and he was landing <laughs> big shots. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm, that's what I'm fearing that now, like. This fight, I mean, it should be like a wake up call for Crawford. It's like, yo, you can't be, you know, you you have to up your competition. Like you, like I think Crawford is probably bored with his own dominance. 
and he's not getting challenged. He has him, and you think is people keep praising him for he's pound for pound number one, pound for pound number one. Ah, yeah, he's the best in the world. No, he isn't, man. Not with that fucking level of competition. Anybody, look, you give Obakar, I Corte, any, you should, you give Thurman, you give fucking Porter, you give these niggas the same people Crawford fight, they'd be undefeated. <laughs> now, 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 now I'm going into it with Twitter niggas because they're like, oh, well, me and Machine would have beaten Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, like, fuck out of here. Like, now, <laughs> now, now, now people are going to overrate me and Machine because he, he, he put hands on top. We don't even now, know if me and Machine could beat a Granados. Yeah. I mean, he didn't beat a Ray Robinson, so that's a... <laughs> Dude, like, come on. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, let's not make Mean Machine the fucking the second coming of the De La Hoya Trinidad. <laughs> right. You know, what we, we, we do give him props for is he gave Crawford a fight. He gave him an actually he gave yeah. him a real fight, and he gets a prop. He he legit knocked Crawford down. I give him props for all that. You yeah, know. The fucking ref fucked that up. Exactly. That was a legit knockdown. He hurt dude. No. If ands and what, no, no bullshit about it. He caught the fade, mm-hmm. and, and it's just a, uh, it's just crazy. Like you know, everybody was criticizing Monster, you know, for having a a, a classic fight with Daenerys with a Hall of Famer, mm-hmm. and a fight everybody was looking forward to. So I don't know why people change the opinion once the fight ended up being good, but everybody was looking forward to the fight all year because they thought it would be a good fight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boxing fans, like y'all, y'all niggas is like wildin'. <laughs> so everybody started criticizing. Well, you know, ah, he was taking too much punches. This that looked like he was gonna lose. Da, 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 da. Then it's like you get to the point, like okay, all this criticism, but he turned the fight around. Mm-hmm. So damn near had a stoppage, really. But you know, ref, ref was on some G shit and gave Denaire honorary. You know, hey, you can let I let this go status. Right, and then yeah. we got a good finish. No one looks bad. The nearest sons got to the, see their dad with the trophy and all this. Shit. So, right. good, good shit. But <clears throat> you can't compare no fucking prime meme machine to them Hall of Fame resurging the Nair. Right, exactly. And but I think I think too now this fight opened up the flood uh, the floodgates for people to start Chris and Crawford like because I mean as we all know I mean. I mean, obviously there are people over there that are like, you know, I think, I mean, the whole thing between Crawford and PBC is like, you know, PBC needs to cross over to face Crawford or vice versa. And then, you know, there's, there's the mindset that PBC welters are so above everyone. And I think that opened up the focus for the, the people who were, I guess, were silenced by what happened with Spence in the Porter fight, you know, where, you know, Spence, it, it was clear that Spence was not head above anybody at welter like that. Yeah, you that know. got humbled. Because yeah. if niggas was damn thinking Spencer was going to wipe his ass with Porter, when no one has. Except Brooke. Oh, God. <laughs> no one has an exciting fashion that people care about. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the disclaimer, you know. Julio Diaz. Oh. Nah. Yeah, well, there was a draw, and then he lost the rematch. Like, yeah. I don't know. You could make an argument that he won. I mean, I felt like Porter was beating his ass the first half, then he ran the second half. So, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good, yeah. good little, good little fight though, and then Porter was like on his come up. So, yeah, yeah but... I, I feel you, but but still, like, hold on, like, like even Julio fucking Diaz. I mean, come on, like, we, we comparing Julio Diaz to fucking Mean Machine? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, come on, like. And, 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 and let's just be honest, like, and, and top rate, cool, much respect, but they don't really want to throw money at these other opponents to, to real money for real opponents. Mm-hmm. Y'all, for, for years, when Broner and Thurman and all these guys were trying to fight Pacquiao and, and Danny Garcia, you know, and these guys are legit draws, you know, they was offered bullshit money. Two million, three million, four million, little shit like that. But y'all giving Amir Khan five, six million, whatever, for and a pay per view fight. 
in 2019? <laughs> so so how y'all have money for Khan, but y'all don't have money to lure a Sean Porter or somebody else over? Mm. He keep fucking up and, and spoiling on the vine. Y'all gonna find that money sometime next year. Yes. <laughs> shit. Yeah. The shit. Don't let a Virgil Ortiz get a Crawford fight. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. like do y'all wanna risk that? <laughs> Yeah, or get a, you know, or get boots, you know, boots Ennis in there, you know, you just like say, like I said, because there are some hungry welters. Yeah, Crawford, gonna, if y'all don't do this, Crawford gonna have to be the guy ended up fighting all these damn young gunners, shit. Yeah. And uh, while he is definitely in his prime, he still has a good number of years left in his prime. I mean, that's gonna be. You know, yeah, but he's just, at that Golovkin twenty, what twenty sixteen, mm. like. I think I think like honestly, I think Crawford hit his physical peak maybe a year ago, a year or two ago. Like well, I don't I think mean, he's gonna get physically better. Like skill wise, he can improve. He could do certain things, but <laughs> as far as yeah, like, but, physical peak, I think he's there already. Well, I mean, one thing about Crawford, uh, I mean, it's not really mentioned. I mean, dude has did. I mean, dude is still stopping welterweight. It's like, I mean, it's not like no, yeah. no, no bullshit. Like, dude is hurt and stopping his welterweight. So, I mean, I still think he's still in his physical prime. Like now, I mean, he's he's near his peak. I don't think. I mean, but I think some yeah, other. I, I after- honestly think he's peak. Like, I feel like by next year, he's gonna be on that other side of the damn peak. Like. The other side of the mountain like he's been climbing up the mountain for a while mm-hmm. i think he got there maybe in the in gong in dongo fight yeah or perhaps the first jeff horn fight but now i mean you have the con fight just being just off the fucking radar not doing nothing then you get this fight mm-hmm. yeah <clears throat> i think we I, honestly i feel like we're gonna be we uh, we're in a Leo Santa Cruz situation that's gonna turn into a Golovkin situation. Yeah, and unless something changes by next year or so, I mean, yeah, I know that's a part of the next year gonna happen, and then that's what's gonna if if, if nothing changes, we're gonna keep having the Leo Santa Cruz situation. Right until (laughs) something does change, I think it's gonna be Golovkin. He he gonna fight another tough uh, opponent and. He gonna be pushed a little bit, and then everybody's gonna jump out and say, "Man, Crawford never was that good." Yeah, exactly. That's how that's how they always do, it, man. There was, you know, because they, they couldn't because they were too, you know, pussy to say what they wanted to say before or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it's unfortunate. That's why I be fucking complaining and and, and on this dude to make better fights because I see the talent, the skill, all of that. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you like, the, like if you like if you if you like boxing. You know, if you you know if you've done it before, obviously you know you've studied it. I mean, Terrence Crawford is a perfect example of you know what you want to see, like a skilled fighter who fights with anger. You know, he fights mean. You know, like it's, like, it's you know, emotional, but not to where it's like he does shit stupid. Right. It's not like he's dropping his hands on some winky right Shane Mosley rematch or. Nate Campbell, Peden. No, he's a he's a cerebral fighter who has pop and he fights me. Like it's, yeah, like, it's more like a Costa Zoo getting tagged and let me just try to get you anyway type shit. Right. Right hand coming to my face, be damned. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, dude is dude is a, dude is a genera- to me he's a generational talent. But like I said, you know, it's just like if you if you if, you, if you're fighting with who he's fighting over time or whatever. And you're too dominant, and it's not. I mean, if it was against high class, if it was against the real what people would see a world class opponents, then that would be a different argument. But you know, it's just like, but it's not. And you're just wondering, it's like, you, you got you got hope for that career uptick, you know, before he gets upset. You know, and- dude, you got one of the biggest promoters in the game, man. Like, bruh. Well, yeah, no, the biggest promoter game is more concerned about making sure that Lomachenko comes up as being undefeated than fucking Crawford, uh, and then, <laughs> then, then marketing their actual undefeated fighter. <laughs> mm, yeah, ESPN, man, like, what's good? Like, it's like ever since Teddy Atlas left, I, I feel like the integrity leaving ESPN now. Yeah, because nobody, nobody checks them on their bullshit. Fucking it is, Tim Bradley, Tim Bradley, was Bradley yeah, Tim Bradley always cooning. 
<clears throat> Damn, I don't want to say that. But I didn't, I didn't like what he said after the fight with the whole begging and the whole just... It's like he trying to call PBC soft, like, like y'all scared of him. Y'all don't want to fight. He's begging and begging. And I felt like Crawford, like, dude, this was your time to talk shit and call people out. And he didn't. Bradley had to do it. No, I, I hear you, but Crawford has to realize, and they need to realize, they're not in control. You know what I'm saying? They can call out people whoever they want, but they need, they need, the PBC guys. PBC yeah. guys don't need him. Right. And then it doesn't help. And then Aram's not helping the case. It, it doesn't help that you have Aram saying shit like, oh, we're not interested in a Danny Garcia fight. That's past its expiration date. Like, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? The best fight Crawford will have in his whole career. Yeah, I mean, this. I mean, there's a lot of things. I mean, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I I do get one aspect of why Bradley did what he did. Cause that, I mean, I think he just I think he's just tired of the pussy footing. I think that, like, 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 he like, is, he he can be he's allowed that. Yeah, but like let's put it this way. I mean, you have PBC which constantly disrespects him, like not 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 seeing him as a legitimate champion. Like they fucking recognize the WBA regular titleist over this nigga, man. And then <laughs> and, you know the, that's that's the sad thing. You know, but then, you know, like I said, you know, yeah, people are, are mad about Bradley. Like, I mean, I, I get that Bradley could have done it in a different way because, you know, you saw a fucking, yeah. I mean, you saw, you saw, you saw a war there looking like he just wanted to ask niggas bean pie, my brother. You know, he was just sitting there just looking mad, just like, whatever, nigga, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it, was a, it was just a whole clusterfuck. Like, that's why it just didn't need to be on this card. Like, you really needed Lopez Comey as the damn main event. Like, like Bud could have struggled on his own on, by himself on some other shit. Like, and and Bradley could have his damn tirade about you know everybody PBC ducking and yeah. I mean, remember they were sitting on that other. Remember they were sitting on Tink that one time for the Gamboa fight. Yeah. Yeah. There's a yeah. There's there's a whole lot of shit going on. Like, I mean, I know. Uh, Twitter and other social media, uh, Tim's. I mean, pretty much they're, they're calling Tim Uncle Tom and Coon and all types of all types of slurs because of it. I'm 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 gonna I'm take that back and say and not say Coonan because that was wrong of me, but still. Right. Yeah, because <laughs> he didn't do. I mean, he was saving. He was like basically taking up for another black person. So it's like I can't. Right. Yeah, but it's, 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 much. I ain't gonna call that man that shit like. It, but he said, but but he be like he be doing the most. Like I understand you work with like. He you you do. know where your bread is buttered, but come on, bro. That's what I'm like, saying. It's like, like he kept it real with that stoppage the last week. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember what fight it was. The, the Oscar Valdez stoppage. Yeah. Like you you needed that. Like he like that was cool. Like, but this Crawford shit, I just felt like he went too far. Like it was just like the, the he could have did it a more tactful way. You know what I'm saying, but I, I I understand why he did it, the emotions and all that. But yeah, he took, he took, he took, a, page, he took a page out of the Teddy Atlas book. Yeah, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, like Crawford, Top Ring, Aram, all of y'all, y'all gotta offer these names like real money. Exactly. If y'all got five mil, if, 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 if somehow Khan could get paid, and everybody tells me, yeah, it brings the British fans. Yeah, he's a name. Yeah, he's popular. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, and then he's going life and death with Sammy, Sammy Vargas. <laughs> so if, if that could make him get a five million dollar payday, or I know it was at least that amount, you know. Right. Y'all got that? Like y'all can't tell me y'all can't find five bill for them. Um, shit, that Danny Garcia. Um, um. Yeah, they offered him three million. I, I, yeah, like. Come on. Like, come on. Like, three mil for Danny Garcia Crawford fight? Really? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Like, y'all gave Chris Algieri 1.5 mil for the uh, Pacquiao fight. Now, okay. We understand that's Chris Algieri getting on the big stage for the first time. Um, You going from, you know, living with your parents in the basement and... You know, <laughs> 
doing health to shakes possibly, and shit. To possibly still living in the basement with Ferris. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But now you in China, you fighting Pacquiao. So, so I can see, like, the one point fight, like, okay, I ain't trying to pocket watch. You know, I like talking about the fighting. But yeah. I could I could see that. But you can't look at his situation and his stat- status in the sport and compare that to a Broner or a Danny Garcia. Like, it's, there's no way. So don't just say, well, I'm going to give them $2 million and think that's a great deal. No, I mean, I said, like, top rank needs to promote this man. Like, if you want, uh, uh, he's your, he is your undefeated. He gets champion. promoted. He he's get, he gets promoted all year because we reminded how he's pound for pound number one. We ain't fucking fight nobody. He get promoted damn good enough. He need to fight somebody. Shit. <laughs> how much more promotion can you give this man? <laughs> Think about it. We, we, we bring up damn Turbo Fist more often because he fight better people. <laughs> the one time he fights. <laughs> so so it's like, come on. That is absolutely hilarious. Do, oh, am I lying? <laughs> no, 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 you're not. <laughs> like that's the sad part. I know people are gonna be like, damn, like he's going off, but it's true. Like, come on. Yeah, hey, but he's going. LB just going off because it's just like, like you see a a good great fighter that you you just don't want to see be spoiled of some bullshit. That's that's best. Yeah. Like, like basically, you don't want him the to turn into a what if situation because he took a bad loss. Because Tom Brink has plenty of those in the graveyard. You know, exactly marinating and milking fucking fights like like Todd, like <coughs> I'm <gonna> look at <laughs> Crawford. Walmart. <Well, Mom. laughs> <laughs> Facts. Well, Bob, yeah, boy, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like Crawford, like, like Hall of Fame, all time great talent, but like I wouldn't vote him in the Hall of Fame right now. <laughs> Me personally, I wouldn't. Like, not not on no first ballot shit. Hell no. Hell no. He ain't no Hall of Famer yet, and I fuss with Crawford, but hell no. <laughs> So that, that, I'm just saying, like you know, yeah, it, it's unfortunate though. Like I say, so we just gotta hope that you know, in, as you know, as 2020 comes upon us, that things change, you know, that change change drastically for for Terrence Crawford's career. You know, like I said, like I said, you know, you don't want because you you don't want it to be like a whole bunch of he, well, you know, tell him, but he didn't fight nobody because Lord knows there's enough fighters. Currently, right now, who are still battling that tag, and he shouldn't. He already like thirty-one. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's now or never, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, see, but like I said, you know, overall, it was like I said, it was it was a decent amount of fights. Um, it was a good experience. At MSG, you know, crowd was rocking, uh, and everything like that. You know, like I said the fighters afterwards, they were cool to talk to. You know, say you know, so you you, know, you, you, you just watch that post fight conference, you know, all the last share that, you know, like say like, there was some gems, there was some humor in that, you know, they saw Jamel Herring, you know, take over bits and parts of that uh that conference, the silly ass. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a, you know, said so it, it was decent, and uh, yeah, you know, hopefully this goes a long way to, of course, the top rank, um, better top rank cards. You know, regaining the stature that they had in 2018, you know, with better cards in 2020, you know, like top cards. Um, yeah, no, no pay per views, no, no bringing yeah, you're, them you're, in. Yeah, you're out, you're, you're asking for too much right off the bat. No pay per views. <laughs> okay, no, no shitty pay per views. Well, technically, I mean, I mean, they only had, I mean, they only, unlike previously, they only have one. And then, but and that was the one where it just like come on like oh, it should technically should be ESPN Plus which is another thing. Top rank, figure out what fights you're gonna put on ESPN Plus and what fights you're gonna put on regular ESPN because I well, I got ESPN Plus for the for boxing mostly. You know I kept it after the Crawford Horn trial. You know like I it, I want to be able to support it because you know. I think you know. I, I like the technology and everything, but y'all gotta figure out the boxing thing. You know what the fights and what you put what you put on there or not. You know you gotta get that thing situated. You know because uh, I, I, I'm not. Get, I didn't get the bank for my buck this year for it, and you know I don't want it to go to 2020 because I will cut it if if that if if need be. <laughs> 
word, man. Like, yeah, I gotta offer a little more meat in them sandwiches. Exactly. There's a bodega down the street, nigga. <laughs> Yes, and speaking about the you know the other pole digger down the street, you know we do, <laughs> you, know, the, you know of course across the street if you want to be all specific and whatnot, you know we have another card that we want to preview. 